I just don't think we're going to war with North Korea. I think he wants to self-preserve. I, I really do believe that Iran, because it is filled with the supreme leaders that are all believers in the 12th Imam. And all you need is one of those guys to say, no, hasten the return of the promised one. Mm -hmm. Cause chaos and bloodshed. Go. Now is our time. Ayatollah Khomeini just said a couple of days ago in a, in a sermon to the entire nation of Iran, he said the 12th Imam is here. He, is not, he has not revealed himself yet. He's walking around invisible, but he is very soon about to reveal himself. And we have to remember, especially as, as allies to Israel, they want to push Israel into the, they want to push Israel into the Mediterranean. Like they want the eradication of Israel too. Could, could, so just could, the, could I just? <laughs> how are you walking around with that in your pocket? It's like a reality <laughs> show in Iran. Who's the twelfth Imam? <laughs> you know how I feel about the twelfth Imam in Iran. How are you walking around not telling me that? When did they say this? Uh, this was a couple days ago. I just read about it today. So. Okay. So, so for for those of you who haven't been with the program for a decade. The 12th Imam is something that I remember seeing at CNN. And uh, Ahmadinejad, I'm standing in the newsroom, all these people who are just, you know, whatever, watching President Ahmadinejad mm -hmm. up on the news. And he starts with, Oh Allah, give me the strength to hasten the return of the promised one. In your name we pray. And then he speaks. I'm like, wow, that's weird. And uh, then he's speaking. And then at the very end of his speech, he said, and Allah, please give me the strength to hasten the return of the promised one in your holy name. Mohammed be praised. Amen. And I'm like, everybody starts talking. And I said, hey, hey, you guys, all you smart guys, who's he talking about? And they said, oh, I don't know. He says that at the beginning and ending of every speech. <laughs> well, <laughs> shouldn't we know what at least he's talking about? Ah, it's just that religious rhetoric. Okay, that makes it even scarier because if he was a Christian, you'd be freaking out. Yeah. It's the 12th Imam. And when the 12th Imam, the way you hasten the return of the promised one, and if you read their religious texts, it's the exact mirror opposite of the book of Revelation. Their bad guy is, uh, is our good guy. Our good guy is their bad guy. And the way you hasten the return is you nuke Israel. You spread blood across the entire planet. That hastens the return of the Mahdi, the 12th Imam, and he rules the world with an iron fist, beheads everyone if they don't take his name. And then Jesus comes to testify that, yes, that is the promised one, and I'm just a puppet in this whole thing.